Mary. New details this afternoon on what's next after that deadly Branson duck boat accident over the summer. 17 people died after a boat capsized in stormy waters, prompting dozens of lawsuits. But now a Missouri law dating back 167 years could change how those lawsuits are handled. Abigail James explains. Survivors and families of the deceased may not get as big of a payout as originally thought. That's because court filings show Ripley Entertainment is attempting to use a federal law dating back 167 years. It allows vessel owners to try and avoid or limit how much money families can recover in damages if someone dies on water due to negligence of the captain. If a judge decides the law applies, claims for damages could be consolidated into a single federal court case. The petition from lawyers for Ripley Entertainment states that under the federal law, the companies would not owe any damages because the boat carried no freight and was a total loss. Now, if it can be proven that the company knew the storm was coming or that the owner knew the boat was unsafe, the law would not stand. Ripley Entertainment has said that the boat sinking was an unforeseeable and unintentional occurrence. Now, in 1850, there was no insurance for ships, and the law was intended to basically shield ship owners if anything went wrong. In the newsroom, Abigail James, KCTV5 News.